Not sit around and stand and talk when you see work got to be done. Huh? Yeah. Eh? Right. What is that? And so he then had received five, he talents, received five talents and brought other five talents. And this is why some people is more blessed than others. Right. Because some just sit around and complain, but do absolutely nothing. Right. And then you have some, every opportunity presents itself, they are involved in the work of God. You got a skill, God bless you with, he knows what you're going to do with it. And he knows whether you're going to be productive or just do nothing. That's right. You can't take what God gave you and bury it. Bury it. What do that mean? Don't limit God. Yeah. Hallelujah. You have to take what God gave you. Have you noticed the one with the five, five. and the one with the two? They worked at it. That's right. They worked at it and it became productive. Not sit back and do nothing. If you don't have it in you to work. What did the Bible say about the one? Thou honest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers. And then in my coming I should have received my own with usury. Yes. Take therefore the talent from him. Take the talent from him. And give it unto him which hath ten talents. Wait a minute. God said you don't want to do nothing. That's I'm going right. to take what you got. That's right. And I'm going to give it to someone who I know don't mind working. That's right. These are the end times. So now is the time to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. To be baptized correctly, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll free at 1-888-231-2201. That's 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com. Again, if you want to be baptized, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll free at 1-888-231-2201. Or email Email us at baptism at truthofgod.com. I want you to follow me and hear this. Matthew chapter 25, we'll start at verse 14. Follow me, quick. For the kingdom of heaven is, is as a man traveling. Wait. Before... First thing he point out is something spiritual. That's right. Letting you know he's going to liken it to something natural. Right. Uh -huh. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far Showing country. Showing you if you want to get into God's kingdom, yeah. you got some work to do. Traveling. You got work to do if you want to get there. That's right. Uh -huh. Who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. Yes. And unto one he gave. Hold it. He called his own servants. Own I got to itemize this. Yeah. And delivered unto him. His goods. His goods. His goods. Now spiritually, God trusts you with something that's not yours. That's right. Did you see what I'm telling you? God give you the Holy Ghost. It ain't yours. He give you a house. It ain't yours either. That's right. They give you a car, they ain't yours. You got breath in your body, they ain't yours. Amen. Everything you have lent to you. That's right. Lord give it. That's right. Lord take it away. You don't have no say so. Everything you possess, you can keep it or you can lose it. That's right. It's determined on how you treat God. That's right. And how you treat God based upon how you treat each other. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. You better hear now. Come on, son. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling it's, into a far country. Notice the language. It's as the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country. Traveling to a far country. Who called his own servants. Who called his own servants. And delivered unto them his goods. Yes. And unto one he gave five talents. He gave one five talents. To another two. Another two. And to another one. You know God did with every man according to his ability. Sometimes God may give one five talents. Mean God give that individual an abundance. Yeah. An abundance. That's right. Amen. Then the other, how many talents? To another two. Uh, another one got two. Uh, he, he, he may not can't function like the one that have the abundance, but he work with what he has. God give him two. Same God is giving them out, but uh, he give one a, an ability that exceed another. That's right. And then he give another. And to another one. And then he give another one because he can't handle the two because uh, he know how he going to treat the one. That's right. So if God, well, Pastor Dennis, if the Lord know what I'm going to do with the one, why give it to me? So you can see yourself. That's right. <laughs> Sometimes God will put a person in your life to help you and aid you. And then you treat them worse than a dog. 
wherein if you didn't have that experience, you would know that side of yourself was so cheap. That's right. That's right. So arrogant. So self-righteous. Because you got to be cheap to use anybody. Oh, yeah. Somebody say, well, I love you like I love myself. Don't you get happy? Because some people don't love themselves. Yeah. Oh, no. That explains the way why some people treat you the way they do. They don't love themselves. That's right. Here, here now. And unto one he gave five talents. Five talents. To another two. Two. And to another one. One. To every man according to his several ability. Wait. To every man according to his ability. According to his several ability. According to his several ability. And straightway took his journey. Uh -huh. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same. Wait a minute. He that was multi-talented. That's right. Oh, man, five talents. He traded with the same. And made them other five talents. He gained five more. He increased. And likewise, he that had received two. One to have two. He also gained other two. He went to work and got two more. He didn't just sit around and did nothing. That's right. Hey, Amen. You don't look at what you have achieved in life and get content with that. When you can do better, do better. Yeah. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. God instilled that in me when I was young. Amen. When he gave me that vision, I thought that thing would be fulfilled right away. I didn't think I'd be in a basement for some five years. Amen. But the Lord put me in a basement. Started off with about 12 or 15 people. And then let years go by. And what that years did, challenged my faithfulness with a few. That's right. Challenged my commitment with a few. Challenged my love to the work of God with a few. Thank God and God seen I was determined to do that thing. He started adding more talent. That's right. Started adding more talent. Started bringing in more, 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 more. And then we went to Briar Road. I, was, I wasn't content at all. Amen. Renting from Episcopalians. But it was there. God put us over there. Who would take God and I wasn't content. And I just watched it materialize. Amen. I remember we would have broadcast rehearsal. Dan the man stays the yakim going over his uh, announcing and whatnot and this, that, and the other and, and the choir singing. Amen. Then the truth of God blasts over the radio, but I wasn't content. Yeah. Huh? Why? I knew it was more. Yeah. Glory to God than, than what I was presently doing by God's permission. Amen. So I stepped out and went driving around the city and found Frankfurt Avenue, an abandoned Baptist church. Yeah. Abandoned. Yeah. Amen. Got the saints together and took them in there. Many was grieved at the sight. <laughs> and it was a horrible sight. Yes, the area that used to be my office, when I first saw it, it had a big puddle. And there was things swimming in it. <laughs> Don't know what they were, but I knew I didn't want them. <laughs> Amen. But the talent that God gave us, we brought the people together, worked. Oh, yeah. Amen. And I still wasn't satisfied. Amen. Amen. And then I... Uh, we outgrew there. We went looking. God bless us here. Now we're here. Amen. You satisfied yet, Pastor Jennings? No! Amen. Why? Glory to God because the talent that God gave me reached further than Lily Avenue. Amen. Yeah, I'm not satisfied at all. Amen. I'm thankful. But I'm not satisfied. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But I'm not satisfied. I'm thankful. But I'm not satisfied. Because what God showed me is bigger than Franklin. And what God showed me, thank God, Frankfurt, uh, rather Lindley Avenue, can't even hold it. Amen. Amen. I said Lindley Avenue can't even hold <laughs> what the great God of Abraham has showed me. Hallelujah. Yeah? Hallelujah. Can't hold it. Amen. I'm grateful for it. Amen. But Frank, my God, it can't hold it. It, it, it just can't. Pastor Jen, I can't see it. Ah, I ain't worried about what you can't see. Amen. Amen. God had given me more talents than what he gave you. Oh, Amen. Yes. And I'm out here working, adding. Adding to that talent. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. So it's a God, a sure return. Right. Amen. I see a return. Thank God on the faith that God put in here. Amen. All right. And likewise also, he that had received two. He that received two. He also gained other two. Gained other two. But he that had received one went and dig in oh, the yeah, earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to pay attention to the one that only got one. Amen. I want you to pay attention mm -hmm. to this one that have one. One. All right. But he that had received one. He that got one. Went and digged in, in the earth and hid his Lord's money. Digged in the earth 
And he, the Lord money. after a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh yes. and, and reckoneth with them. And so, Real he, quick. and so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents. This represents the coming of the Lord. Amen. Evaluating your work that he entrusts you with. Amen. I want you to understand this. This represents the coming of Christ. Evaluating the work that he entrusts you with. How you went about serving him. All right? Because so, he said it is light. It is light. For the kingdom of heaven is the as a man. The kingdom of heaven. Is, this parable is likened unto the kingdom of heaven. Traveling. In other words, mm -hmm. you're going to be rewarded That's right. for doing. That's right. All right? And you're also going to be rewarded for doing nothing. That's right. You better hear? And so he that had received five talents received five. came and brought other five talents, saying, All right, Lord, whatever you do, whatever mm -hmm. skill or talent that you have, Use it to the best of your ability. Right. Don't sit back. Why I always see that brother on that auxiliary, on all the auxiliaries? Why I see that sister on all the auxiliaries? Why you don't see yourself on no auxiliary? Amen. Amen. I don't care what you can put your hands to do. Throw your hands up like the announcement was made. They need plenty to help pack Bibles. When, when a benediction is given, it should be a number that none can number. Yes. Right upstairs, packing Bibles for sinners and for saints that want to read God's Word. Nobody yeah. care about what you have on. If your blouse get dirty or your skirt get smudged, brush it off or send it to the cleaners. Uh, or if your white shirt get dirty, go on upstairs and help pack them Bibles. Why? This is the work of God here. That's right. Not sit around and stand and talk when you see work got to be done. Yeah. Huh? Right. What is that? And so he that had received five, talents, received came five talents and brought other five talents. And this is why some people is more blessed than others. Right. Because some just sit around and complain, but do absolutely nothing. Right. And then you have some, every opportunity presents itself, they are involved in the work of God. Yeah. All right. And so he that had received five talents came yes. and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, uh -huh. thou deliverest unto me five talents. Yes. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. Yes. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful well servant. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Do you hear that? That's right. That's right. That's plain, isn't it? Amen. Lord, God, I was faithful with about 12 to 15 people yeah. in a basement. And now God has blessed us to be ruler over many. But I, had, I, I couldn't take the talent and bury it. That's right. You got a skill God bless you with. He knows what you're going to do with it. Yeah. And he knows whether you're going to be productive or just do nothing. That's right. Huh? That's right. Listen at this. His Listen Lord said this closely. His Lord said unto him. His Lord said to him. Well done, thou good and faithful well servant. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful, been over, a faithful over a few things. I will make I will thee ruler make over many thee things. Ruler over many. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. That's what I want God to say to me. Yeah. You've been faithful. Come on, come on in. Enter thou. Into the joy of thy Lord. Come on in with your Lord. That's right. That's what I want. Oh, yeah. Eh? Oh, yeah. And if you wise, that should be what you want. Yeah. All right. He also that had received two talents came. All right, the one that got two talents. Came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Lord, you gave me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. Yes. His Lord said unto him, well done. You Lord done well. Servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. You've been faithful over a few. I will make thee ruler over many things. I will make things. you ruler over a lot. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. You come on. You got your chance to be saved. Then he which had received the one talent came. Now I want you to look at the one that only got one talent. Just Amen. one. One. All right. Then he that had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art a hard man. Oh, uh, have you noticed? And none of the others try to give him a rap session. That's right. And none of the others try to give a sales pitch about nothing. That's right. But the one that had one talent knew something Amen. about the Lord. That's right. He knew something about the Lord. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee. That I knew, knew thee. That what? That thou art a hard man. You're strict. Reaping. You are no nonsense man. That's right. Uh -huh. Reaping where thou hast not sown. Reaping. Glory to God where you have not sown. And gathering where thou hast not straw. Gathering where you have not straw. And I was afraid. I was scared. And went and hid thy talent I in the earth. I buried what you gave me. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. 
His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant. When you don't do nothing and not doing nothing for God, what are you? Thou wicked and slothful servant. You're wicked and lazy. That's right. Any capacity that come under the work of God and you don't want to do nothing, what did God say? Thou wicked and slothful servant. Amen. Now, Pastor Jennings, what did God say? Thou wicked and slothful servant. What? Thou knewest that I reap where I sow You knew that I would gather where I, where I planted. And gather where I have not straw. Yes. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money. You ought to have put my goods. To the exchangers. To the exchangers. And then at my coming, I should have received my then own at with my usury. coming. I should have received mine own with usury. I would have got my own with something added to it. Take therefore the talent from him. Now let's now let, 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 let me break it down. Banking, you deposit, you get interest. Are you getting me? That's right. The interest that comes from the bank is a form of reward for allowing that banking institution to use your monies. That's right. Are you following what I'm telling you? That's right. The reward that the Lord gives is eternal interest. Yeah. You are the principal. Right. Are you kidding me? That's right. And the interest that he has aligned for you is eternal life. But you must use the talent yeah. that God gave. Using your God giving talent for him is depositing yourself into the will of God. It's depositing yourself, placing yourself into God's will and he promised interest. That's right. Now, interest come two ways, in this life and the life to come. Interest come in this life by adding to your virtue and by giving you blessings that you won't have room to receive because you put yourself wholeheartedly depositing yourself into the will of God. And he gave you interest. Started opening up the windows of heaven, blessing you with this, blessing you with that, blessing you with the other blessing you at the other. Now, the mistake that we make, once we get the interest on the principle, we get taken over by the interest. We get taken over by what we have. That's right. Or we get content. I mean, think, if I was content in the basement, I would never have met you. Amen. We would never have got out. If I was content on Briar Road, I wouldn't know you. If we was content on Frankfurt Avenue, we wouldn't got out of Frankfurt Avenue. There were some people on Frankfurt Avenue that were so content looking at us preach and the minister between those two beams like it's a picture frame. <laughs> and if I even talk about leaving Frankfurt, oh, Pastor Dennis, we can raise money and do this, we do this. I remember there were several brothers when the guy was saying, listen, man, I'm tired of this place. We're going to get out of here. <laughs> oh, Pastor Dennis, wait a minute, man. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We, like, we, we can do this. We can do a fundraiser. We can sell fish dinners. I said, listen, you will have to catch a whole lake to fix this place. <laughs> yeah? You will have to catch a whole lake. I told him, I said, it's time to move on. We don't outgrow it. We're not going to try to put new wine in the old bottles. That's right. That's right. I had to step out on Hallelujah. I had to step out on faith and trust God and believe God. And I went searching, looking, praying. Hallelujah. We came to Lindley Avenue in 2014. We didn't tell the church until two years later. Someone said someone could have bought it in two years. That was one of my prayers. When I saw it and came in here, I asked God, I don't care who give an offer. Don't let it fall through. Don't even let them get their loan. 
Don't let no institution of money agree to them. And there was offers that came. I talked to the representative of the Catholic Diocese who represented him. His name was Patrick. He said, Pastor Jennings, I watch you on television. You say some hard stuff, man. I said, Patrick, any offers came in on this? He said, oh, yeah. He said, but still, they couldn't get their money. I looked at him and said, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> he said, well, Pastor Jennings, maybe, maybe you'll get it. I said, I'm, I, I've been talking to the Lord. He said, well, Pastor Jennings, I, I pray you get it. I said, and, I, and I went talking to God. And I was so happy when I first told the church in 2016, the way everybody responded, the way everybody responded around the world. And I often think of that woman preacher who disagreed with me preaching against women preachers. And yet she wrote me a letter and gave me a check for $100. She said, I don't agree with you on this women preacher issue, but she said, I saw that church on your telecast, she said, it's so beautiful. I want you to have it. Here's a hundred dollar check. Woman preacher sent it in. Now, now I got more, wound, more room to preach against her still. <laughs> still preach against her. You can't take what God gave you and bury it. What do that mean? Don't limit God. Hallelujah. You have to take what God gave you. Have you noticed one with the five? And the one with the two, they worked at it. That's right. They worked at it and it became productive. That's right. Not sit back and do nothing. The Lord preached, seek, and ye shall That's find. Right. Not, and it shall be open. It's like I tell our young people that's going to school, in college. Whatever you go on to major in, all right, you get associate degree. Don't sit back like there's no other degrees in that profession than an associate? Get another one. Bachelors, masters, whatever it may be. PhD, stop sitting back waiting for someone to push you if you don't have it in you to work. What did the Bible say about the one? Thou honest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers, and then in my coming I should have received my own with usury. Yes. Take therefore the talent from him. Take the talent from him. And give it unto him which hath ten talents. Wait a minute. God said, you don't want to do nothing? That's I'm going to take what you got. That's right. And I'm going to give it to someone who I know don't mind working. That's right. Do you see what I'm telling you? That's right. God said, I take it. Take therefore the talent He's from him. He's fulfilling his word from the Old Testament. He gave him one talent, yeah. but then he took it, took which fulfilled the Lord giveth. And the Lord take it away. I don't care who you are. I don't give two cents what position you have and what little blessings God gave you with. If you don't serve God with these things, just like he gave it, the Lord says here, do what? Take therefore the talent from him. Take the talent from him. And give it unto him which has ten talents. Give it to him that got ten talents. For unto everyone that hath. To everyone that hath. Shall be given. It shall be given. And he shall have abundance. And he, hallelujah to God, shall have abundantly. But from him that hath not. Him that have not. Shall be taken away even that he, which he hath. Amen. Do you hear this? But from him that hath not, and that don't have nothing, shall be taken away even that which he hath. You ain't doing nothing. You want to sit around and lie to yourself that you're cute? <laughs> Amen. I care nothing how full cute you think you are. How much money you spend for your suit of clothing? That's right. Yeah. It ain't nobody too good to work for God. That's nobody. Right. That's right. That's right. down here working at the church, I get dirty just like the brothers do. That's right. Amen. They get sludge hammer, I get a sludge hammer. They get a paintbrush, I get a paintbrush. They lift and I'm lifting. And I can't straighten up the next day from being bent over, but I'm lifting. <laughs> you have the kind of people who don't mind working, but then you have the kind of people that just love to sit back and reap the benefits That's right. off the works of others. That's right. And God says, for about the one talent, take, go up, go up. Take therefore the talent from him. Take it from him. And give it unto him which has ten talents. Whatever blessings you have, house, apartment, car, job, who cares? 
you can lose it. That's right. I don't care how long you had. That's right. Gotta move on your supervisor to do a layoff. And the only one getting laid off is you. Yeah. <laughs> that entire company stop right at you. Because you treat God like trash. That's right. You better respect him. You better honor him. Viewers, you better get what I'm telling you. Repent of your sins, hard head. Don't let the devil make you waste your energy and get mad at me. This message of holiness is from God everlasting word. God has made me a battle axe, a weapon of war. I'm not sent to pat you on your back. Right. I'm sent to tell you what's right to keep you out of the lake of fire. That's right. You preachers that's in these church organizations, pack up and leave. Pack your members up and leave. You mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers and husbands and wives and grandfathers and aunts and uncles, leave your church. Leave these man-made religions. Repent of your sins, you politicians. It doesn't matter. The Lord God himself is not a Democrat or Republican. God Almighty is holy. That's right. You bear in mind, when the Lord appear in the heavens, he's coming for the exact same thing he left here. Then Peter. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. The apostles said to the world, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. To get your sins washed away. God have never told nobody to bow your head and raise your hands and accept Christ where you are. Nobody. God have never told nobody to pray a sinner's prayer. God have never told nobody to join the church. Never. God have never told nobody to do these things. God said to the apostles, repent and be baptized, every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ for the remission, meaning for the removing of your sins. And ye shall receive and the gift of the Holy Ghost. And shall receive the gift of God. For the promises unto you. And to your children, unto them that is afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And it is written, the Lord has spoken. You have called the whole earth from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. Anybody here want to get right on scriptural terms and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet. Wonderful. All right, you that are standing, go right to the back. You that are standing, go right to the back. All right, sisters and brothers, let's come help the ones that are standing, please. All right, we're going to let you go. Next webcast will begin at 5 o'clock. Let us all stand. And remember, right after the benediction, I need brothers and sisters, plenty of you, upstairs, to the second landing, we got plenty of Bibles that have to go out around the world. And we need them packed. We need the brothers to help load them up. All right, we're going to turn the service in the hand of Brother Minister Williams, and he'll close us out in prayer. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you and praise you once again for this day. We thank you, Father God, for the gospel of God that was preached in our hearing by the man of God. We thank you, Father God, how you blessed the souls to repent and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, remember those on the altar waiting on the Holy Ghost. They may be filled with thine spirit. Father God, continue to strengthen the man of God. Continue to bless him. Continue, to, Father God, to help him teach and preach the truth of thine gospel. Father God, now bless us as we go and wait again for the second session. Father God, that more souls may get a chance to repent and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless us not only to be hearers of the word, but doers also. Father God, we do pray and ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. These are the end times, so now is the time to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. To be baptized correctly, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201. That's 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com. Again, if you want to be baptized, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com.